Hi, hi all. Welcome all to Science Teaching Academy. Today I am here with an interesting lecture, evolution. In the in the lecture series, I am going to say about a fascinating story about how you, me, and your pet dog, or what the vegetable you eat, the entire life evolved. What do I mean to say? Is to know how the entire universe evolved itself and how this life arose and what was the real time scale if you talk about evolution there are a lot of uh, contemporary stories and a lot of false beliefs that we have been created we are not evolved so the fact is that no one knows <clears throat> where we have originated from we just believe how we evolved after we have originated many scientists try to put forth that uh, some theories for how we have evolved, how we have originated. So in this lecture series, more we, we are going to discuss about the fascinating story of evolution, the origin of evolution, and how the process goes on, and what are the mechanisms involved in evolution. So these are the important points we should be noted for competitive exams. And apart from competitive exam, it's a very interesting thing to know about ourselves. Good. Let's go on to the class. If you say evolutionary biology, means I should have added one more term, evolutionary biology. It's a study of history of life forms in earth. So here each and every term has its own meaning. Biology is the G OG we know, it's a study. As like other uh, cellular biology, molecular biology, other domains of biology, Studying about evolution is also a study and we are going to study about its history. History of what? History of life, various life forms which existed in earth and we are still existing, which have been extinct and have been existing in life and what are the correlations between the life forms which existed and still existing in earth. To understand the flavor of evolution, how the changes in flora and fauna have occurred we should know about the forefather of it means what I mean to say we should know about the origin of universe itself and see the time scale this time scale have been proved out of experimental facts and a lot of uh, discoveries made through radiocarbon dating and so on so they have came up to the time scale that the universe have evolved 20 billion years old 20 billion years back the universe has been evolved. If you say about uh, the origin of universe, uh, the one main term will strike to everyone's mind. It's nothing but Big Bang Theory. So what Big Bang says? Big Bang says the universe has evolved from a single huge explosion. The huge explosion in the terms we can't say in a physical term. The explosion occurred in unimaginable physical terms. So we cannot calibre the explosion quantity, how much it happened. Then what happened? After that, a single huge explosion have happened. Universe expanded. Universe have expanded. And uh, the, that, that atmosphere, the atmosphere which existed before is not like today. That atmosphere is full of helium and hydrogen gases. And the gases which condense to form uh, to form glaciers of today it means what I mean to say is galaxies. If you say universe, I will say with an example of our own planet Earth. If you say Earth, that's a planet, and a lot of planet we belong to a solar system, and like these kind of solar systems form galaxies, system, galaxies, like many galaxies. Many galaxies constitute to form universe. Our, uh, so what's the name of our galaxy? Yeah, it's right, Milky Way galaxy. So Milky Way. So the hydrogen and helium which formed in the beginning of the universe after the explosion just condensed to form galaxies. Um, and then the planet Earth, which we belong to the solar system, is have no atmosphere in the daily Earth. 
so without atmosphere what was there if you ask that if you ask that question i will answer water vapor helium methane and carbon dioxide all strange gases were there and these gases have been broken down gradually by the uv rays from sun so sun is the ultimate source uh, which serve which form which help to form the huge earth the planet earth so the sun uh, produces uv rays which broke that water to become I means the water vapor to be uh, to release oxygen and hydrogen and again the water vapor which existed in the atmosphere condense itself to form rain when the temperature cooled so just imagine if you want to think how the earth existed you should imagine your mind then only we can go back 4.5 billion years back no how this earth formed how the atmosphere formed and just imagine a hard pan of full of uh, uh, thing full of hot gas around you and bubbles coming out of this boiling thing hmm. so in that way when the temperature cooled down uh, if you see in the hot plate above the hot plate and when you are boiling water lot of water vapor will come and if the temperature cools that water vapor which attached to the top of the plate means which you cover on the hot pan it will form droplets similar thing happen in the uh, uh, atmosphere what happen that water droplets condenses rains and fill the depressions in the layer area those depressions are called oceans now so it fill the entire oceans we all know life arose from water only water environment we will go how uh, we will know about it in a couple of minutes how life arose from those water environment water bodies then we move on to origin of life so see the huge gap after the universe have been formed of 20 billion years earth have been just took nearly 16 years to form earth from universe this planet earth so when 4.5 billion years on um, one more thing i will say friends there are lot of factious stories and fictitious stories which is compelled to believe uh, to youngsters that life has arose very few million years back in the name of religion see religion is a faith but biology is a study we being youngsters and being biologists should know where to have a, de a demarcation line so it's very poor to quote that even though i am saying to make you understand some conventional religious beliefs we all know what belief i am reporting here say that earth just formed as it is and just they are having three connotations that earth have formed very recently the three connotation i will write i write now they say all living forms have created as such do you believe that all living forms what we see dog man and uh, was small insects or just jumped as it is is the first connotation they say to the second connotation they say the diversity is same from the origin is same they same before and future this is also ridiculous because the whole diversity is cannot be as it is it came from a single sun we just evolved as a multicellular organism at the end of this lecture you will just uh, appreciate why i say this is totally wrong the third connotation which is used to believe is the earth have formed just 4000 years back so this time scale makes a huge difference uh, we know the pet dogs which we have today have took nearly 50 to 60 years to make these many breeds so by continuous breeding if we take these many years to form different varieties of same species means we have different races of same dogs but think how these many races these many species have evolved within a small time scale it's not at all possible so only nature took around 3 billion years to form these many form life forms okay to say the technical term of three connotations 
they claim it as special theory of creation or theory of special creation this three uh, theory of special creation these three connotations played challenged the entire scientific community in the 19th century okay so we will go back to our origin of life so earth is 4.5 billion years back at the form of life how the earth looked like and 4.5 billion the earth not supported life as soon it formed it took nearly 500 million years time to form life so the first life arose around 4 billion years back so we have seen how life originated and how universe originated before life and in between how earth originated in between that so we have we had we got a rough idea of these origins then if you see about what are the false beliefs i have started with special creation theory of special creation and scientists have been curious from a very long back to know how this life originated one theory which i said is special theory of creation the second theory is made by early greek thinkers the greek people are known for their scientific thinking but their scientific thinking have been proven false and the one idea they had is panspermia which i say for the second thing this panspermia idea is still uh, very much appreciable among astronomers even today what the panspermia says is that life is unit of life called spores unit of life called spores have been distributed from space from outer space to every plants and like that it came to earth also so this theory also proven wrong as like special theory of creation even though many people know this is wrong it is not widely accepted to be wrong due to some religious impact the third thing i am used to stress here is theory of spontaneous generation spontaneous generation philosophers have evolved and means philosophers have improved their thought so life is not definitely from outer space and if the life uh, arose from here itself where it might have arose they just came to a conclusion that life arose from dead material dead and decayed material this they just observed due to some false observation they have kept a jar means of decayed fruit or decayed living material and they have found some uh, flies coming out of the dead material so the spontaneous they have thought life might have arose from dead and decayed material but this theory got a blow this is not a theory that this hypothesis got a blow after the uh, proven fact of louis pasteur so these are the three false beliefs of evolution how life originated so now let's we go to what are the proven theories which made us to understand what is evolution so when we say about proven theories there are three pro three proven theories were there proven theories the first proven theory is by louis pasteur what louis pasteur have did he just uh, the uh, spontaneous generation people have said that life have arose from uh, already dead and decayed matter consider i have a dead and decayed matter and they found some flies just <laughs> I, i ignore the fly i have drawing it's looking stupid right okay just imagine friends so flies from dead and decayed matter but uh, louis pasteur made a simple experiment he may he tied a porous structure 
a cover over a lead, cover over that lead acephal lead so that yak can go but no insects can go so this preventer any flies to not talk but when he kept open he found flies so this made clear that life has not life has not generated from dead and decayed matter if it's so it should have generated here no so the actual fact happened the flies which feed on the dead and decayed matter left on some uh, egg there and that made into a future flies so this theory give a huge blow to theory of spontaneous generation have been proven wrong through lewis pasteur the second thing of proven theories of evolution is is given by oparin and halding oparin and halding these two scientists they have just uh, evolved into an idea that life should have ever arose from non living organic substance or uh, sorry life should have arose through chemical evolution non living organic substance uh, from this experiment you might have thought that louis pasteur concluded to a theory that life arose from pre existing life pre existing life not from death and decay life similarly oparin and halden say that life from pre existing but non living organic substance so non living organic substance in the sense they say they say that life evolution should have occurred after chemical evolution they are saying that life evolution should have occurred after chemical evolution <laughs> but they have not made that many experiments to prove this chemical evolution so that was proven by Uri miller's hypothesis so a scientist called miller 19th century he made some experimental conditions so some experimental conditions have been proposed by oparin and halden that the of uh, pre existed life how the atmosphere existed before life arose when the life arose the atmosphere is having a huge uh, high temperature volcanic storms lot of volcanic storms that are there and reducing temperature uh, gases reducing gases like ammonia carbon dioxide methane existed in that atmosphere so this miller tried to mimic those atmosphere in a laboratory scale he made that laboratory scale at 8 in the eight, uh, in a small life span he tried to mimic that by giving electric discharge and he found the formation of amino acids and pro, uh, formation of amino acids and nucleic acids in those uh, apparatus so he proven the fact of oparin halden theory of evolution theory of evolution for from chemical evolution through this fact so friends in this lecture we have seen what are the origin of life how universe originated and what are the false beliefs about theory of evolution what are the correct beliefs or the thoughts or the proven theories of evolution in the next lecture series we will see briefly what is the time scale and how the origin life evolved uh, originated and evolved with time scales follow us on science teaching academy thanks for listening to my lecture patiently and tolerating me like me thank you